Spring Mills Cardinals interim head coach Marcus Law. And Coach Law, the last couple of weeks obviously have been a little transitional period with uh, Coach Sims having to step away from the team, and then you guys were, you know, obviously having to play week one. Uh, what's the last couple of weeks been like for you trying to uh, see your offense go through, but obviously overall as, uh, as the interim head coach? Again, um, the hugest things to, to the assistant coaches here, you know, having a guy like Buddy Hessen here, um, DJ Darren Adams, um, Sparks, uh, O-line coaches, the, each one of those guys has taken on a role to help, help um, lighten the load a little bit for us. So it's, it's been a tremendous amount, but what those guys have been managed. Hey, Coach Nick Verzellini here. Uh, coach, your team um, played pretty well in that first game against Jefferson. Got down early 21-6, to uh, made a comeback to make it close. Obviously, you guys want to be able to win those kind of games against uh, EPAC teams and a premier team like Jefferson, but what did you kind of take away from the game? It's kind of positive. And again, one of from from this year to last year was our guy being able to have that fight and, and coming into that second, not laying down, but showing that you know, they still want to play. Um, also, there's a lot to build on offensively and defensively. Um, we were able to start moving the ball around and getting different uh, athletes involved. Defensively, those guys were uh, started flying around a lot more. So, offensive, defensively, and even special teams with our inside kick, a lot get it done. Uh, Coach Law, just talk a little bit more into detail about some of the takeaways from that game, some things that maybe you like that you want to see your team build off of, and maybe some things that you kind of are going to tweak here in this practice after the game. So, um, obviously, offensively, um, we found the success with uh, our inside zone schemes and uh, building off that, um, trying to get more guys into open space is uh, one of the things we're going to try to focus on. Um, and then also, as far as our quarterback, um, big thing for us is getting rid of that football on top, um, not sitting there and holding it. Um, our skill guys being more in tune to when we're in the scramble drill, being able to react off those things. Defensively, um, honestly, if they pick up where they were, flying around, being able to line up correctly on defense, those are things that are going to help us. So, as far as special teams, we, we need to correct our um, kickoff team there. Uh, we'll make some adjustments on line adjustment there as well. And, Coach, you know, we weren't there, but looking from the kind of the score updates we saw, it was 21 6 at one point, and then you guys were able to come back to make it a two point game and then have a drive that, you know, ultimately you guys came up short. But how does it make you feel kind of overall with kind of the transition period and everything that your guys were able to come in and, you know, maybe not start strong, but uh, able to come back and make it a very close game in the end? Well, the biggest thing that sticks out being, um, that was one of the things. Everything started to trickle down once we started being able to handle that stuff from um, the coaching situation and then also on the football field itself. So for me, that was a big that's a takeaway for me. Coach Albert Gallatin this week, uh, what have you seen out of them and what are going to be some keys to get the win? Uh, they've got a couple of guys that can really move um, uh, very similar to Jefferson type speed. Uh, they've, they've got a couple of big lines forced to push around. Um, I think they do some great things defensively. Um, they'll move their defense around a little bit. Um, as far as us, our biggest thing is just being able to follow our keys and, uh, and execute things one play at a time. And, Coach, with your uh, prior experience uh, being a head coach, how do you think that has helped with, obviously, the tough transition that has been with Coach Sims having to uh, step away? As far as uh, me being prepared, you mean? Yeah, and, and having to fill okay. this role. Oh, yeah. Um, so, honestly, um, it's one of those things that kind of resorted back to some of the things I did in my prior school. But, again, I'll be honest with you, having having these assistant coaches is, is great. Uh, you look at a guy like Buddy Hessen, who's been around for a very long time. Um, his, his resume speaks for itself, but he's able to chip in and, and assist with some of those things that maybe I didn't have to do uh, Coach Law, I believe final question here for this game coming up against Albert Gallatin, home opener for Spring Mills. What are you most excited for about this Friday night? Being able to play in front of our fans, um, our student section is definitely ramping things up, uh, chase how they go. Um, definitely excited for the community. Our guys have been really big about getting out the community, especially with our youth programs, and then just giving them something to be proud of. All right, Coach Law, thanks for the time. Best of luck Friday. We'll talk next week. That was Spring Mills interim head football coach Marcus Law. We were able to catch up with him yesterday after the show.